when you're looking to get hired at a new station, and you said there's a lot of times incentives now that they're using instead of having a higher base salary, is that something that somebody should be looking to negotiate? Yeah, I, th I think if you're looking to get hired, you've got to understand that at some point you're going to be judged based on your skins on the wall, based on your resume, based on what you've accomplished. And if you're trying to break in, you should be open to taking a much lower salary than probably you want to make. But if you believe in yourself and you think you're good at this and you think this is what you should do, you know, say, I'll take this lower salary, but if we win, I want to win. I want to see compensation that is commensurate with our success. And, you know, I think you'll find most employers are pretty open to that. Um, I think what I have the biggest difficulty with, frankly, at, to that point is that I, I meet a lot of kids that come right out of college and think they should make $80,000 a year, and it just doesn't work like that. That's not the real life. That's not the real world. And, uh, and they've never said that number. I'm, they just have a high opinion of, well, gee, you should pay me X. And it's like, no, you got, you got to earn that. You really do. So what's a really good way of handling that kind of situation if you're the person who's looking to be hired? Well, I've always gotten this advice from people I respect, starting with my father. You know, you always want to be the last one to give the number. You don't want to be the first. So my advice always is to not, you know, it's not that you're avoiding it, but you shouldn't bring it up until it's the time to bring it up. Um, and, and I can't tell you exactly when that time is because every negotiation is different. Sometimes it's in the first interview. Sometimes it's in the third interview. Sometimes it's not until they're ready to make an offer. Um, but I think that, you know, the best advice, let the game come to you. Listen, I, you can learn a lot more from listening than you can from talking. Listen to what the person's saying, try to get a feel for it. Uh, you know, you can, you, I think your best position coming in is look, salary is negotiable. Let's, I got to understand what your expectations are of me. And then I'll kind of inherently know what that value is and what I believe it's worth to me. And then we'll, you know, we'll work it out. But try to be the last one to give the number. Because a lot of times, if you're willing to accept a lower number and you put out a number too low, you've just made that person's day. They might, they might have had a lot more to spend. But as soon as they hear your number, they're, oh, great, I can save more money. Uh, so try to, try to lay back on that. I, I think it, the other thing is if you bring up money too soon, it can be a real turnoff to an employer because they think you're solely motivated on money. And, and I say that because this business in particular is very passion driven. And I'm going to be attracted by your passion for doing this way before I'm even going to think about what I'm paying you. If I see that passion in you, you're worth more to me. Uh, does that make sense? And, and I think that that's, that's something that you know, if you show the passion and the work ethic and the desire and you show that this is what you want to do and you believe in yourself and you think you can be successful, then, you know, the, the money's going to come. Maybe not initially, but if you are successful, it will. So if you get too hung up on that or make that too much of a focal point, I think it can be a detriment. It's important, by the way. No one loves to talk about it. It's important. But you got to the timing is incredibly important.